What's up YouTube? This is Matt. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some gyros I printed on my XYZ Printing DaVinci 1.0 3D printer. Now, the first gyro I printed right here, I went ahead, I found the file. It was a uh, file on Thingiverse. I loaded it up into XYZWare. I selected my settings. I did 0.2 layer height, about a 15 or 20 percent infill and I went ahead and hit print and it took about an hour to print used about three meters of plastic and it looked like it was doing good while it was printing the only thing is when I took it out and saw it it was clearly not perfectly circular circular now with something like a gyro it being perfectly circular is pretty important because of the rotating uh, parts of it makes it so it won't rotate all the way around unless it's perfectly circular. So none of these parts rotate all the way around. Now, I was unsure of what was causing this, so I went online, I went to XYZ Printing's website, and I found out that they have a video about this problem not printing perfectly circular. And it says one of the problems might be that the X belt is loose. The belt that uh, controls the X carriage of the printer. So they said there's just one bolt you have to loosen, a uh, piece will pop out, you push it in and you tighten it again and it should tension it up. Now the belt didn't really seem loose in the first place. I did that and it may have tightened it a little bit but it didn't really seem to tighten all that much. So what I did was, instead of printing an entire one of these, I found a smaller gyro um, to print, and I went ahead and printed that up. Now, this isn't that great of a design. It uh, A lot of the pieces are falling off. Uh, but once I printed that out, I, it looked like it was printing good, but I pulled it out, and once again, it was not perfectly circular. So, I was like, what the heck? And I went on XYZ's printing's website again and they have nothing else about it they just have the one thing that might be causing this problem so I did a lot more research online and found out that one of the things is that if the Y carriage runs on two poles going like this and if they're not perfectly aligned it can cause this problem so I found a form where it said you should pull the carriage all the way back and when it until it touches. If both aren't touching, if only one's touching and one's a couple millimeters away, you just have to pull the other side uh, back so that it basically what happens is the belt will skip over the gear and realign it. So I did that and I had to put a fair amount of force and it seemed kind of sketchy like I might break something but it didn't and I went ahead and printed the full gyro again because I thought that was probably what was going to make it work and it did and it printed it basically perfectly and it it works really well and now my printer is printing almost perfect circles I mean as perfect as you can get for a um, sub $500 machine but this is just something I wanted to do because uh, it's a pretty cool thing it doesn't really have like much use but it can sh you can see it shows the capabilities of 3D printing and what's capable now of a machine that's accessible for under $500 and even right now if you go on uh, Newegg's eBay site they're selling new DaVinci 1.0's for $375 or $380 which is a really great deal and if you're thinking about getting into 3D printing this is a printer I'd highly recommend because it's very plug and play. You may have to tweak some things to get your prints to go a little better, but other than that, it's a great machine and I highly recommend it. And after some tweaks, it makes some pretty good prints.